We have received some information that you might have had an exposure to somebody who had previously tested positive for Third-year medical student Erin Kelly spends her days reaching out to people who may have been in contact with an infected person. The enormous outbreak at the Cargill meat processing plant helps keep them busy. While some people know the call is coming, other people aren't really expecting it at all and are can be quite freaked out when we call them. So a big part of our job is providing reassurance. But as Cargill gears up to reopen the massive plant, many workers are far from reassured. It's so scary to go into work every day wondering, am I going to contract this virus? And when I contract this virus, will I die from it? And what's going to happen to my family if I die? We're calling this worker Rachel and hiding her identity because she fears losing her job for speaking out. She doesn't trust the reopening because even after the outbreak started, she says, public health protocols were not being followed. Terrified, absolutely terrified. Everybody was coming in, they're asking everybody a million questions. The plant will open slowly, one shift a day to begin. And Cargill says it has enhanced safety measures inside the plant, as well as getting workers to and from work safely. Alberta Premier uh, Jason Kenney says the reopening will happen under strict possible, oversight. We simply cannot shut down every food processing plant in Alberta or in Canada uh, because that would create an obvious uh, uh, crisis in terms of food security. But the union representing Cargill workers hopes to do just that. It's seeking a stop work order and an emergency hearing this weekend to prevent the plant from opening as scheduled. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, High River, Alberta.